Right, the last test we're going to be doing on this one is called the continuous null. In this trench, I've buried a continuous bed of nails. Not continuous, obviously, because it cost me a fortune in nails, but on the E-track, this should make an almost continuous null. What we're going to do then is we're going to lay coins over the top of it. Again, not very deep, but you know, hammers aren't always that deep. But quite often, I think you will find them where um, you will find them in places where there's a lot of iron underneath and they've been deposited on top. That's the threshold, I've got it on pitch hold, so... Continuous now, apart from any irons pulsing. Alright, a lot of people say that you can't find coins in, um, in iron. The e track now is out. Well, I personally think that's rubbish. And, uh, I'm going to try and put it to the test. So we have four coins. I'm not going to go to all the hassle of showing you exactly what they are. You either believe in the test or you don't. This one we're going to use frequency 18, the same, reactivity 3, audio response 5, notch 0, discrimination 0, but like I said before, I've said it, said it in three tones, the first two tones are low so they give a non-diggable sound, anything above that sound is diggable. In a situation where you've got this much iron in the ground and you know there's coins in there, you're going to be digging anything that seems reasonably consistent. I'll let you decide which ones are diggable for you. Actually, I, won't, I will say what I would dig. Some of you might not be using these detectors, might just want to know what they are like. Iron in there. Right, we clearly get. Well, I didn't say clearly. So you're getting four in there, aren't Let me raise the uh, reactivity. Five.
I'm not getting any numbers on any of these. Highest number we've got is number two. But still, if you were hunting this type of ground, you might. But I'd definitely dig that one. I'd definitely dig that one. I don't know about that one. We're only going one way on these tests because they're only on this test because it's only designed to go that way. If I go the other way, it's. It's pointless, really. Okay, here's an interesting thing, right? That's reactivity four, three. Two. Three coins. Reactivity two. lesson to be learned there is that these things are so bloody fast you don't need to have the reactivity really high because that makes you miss stuff I can't knock onto that one properly Turn the threshold down, I can't hunt with it like that. Response smooth. There you go, there's a discrimination pattern, can you see that? I'm going to use 30. I might just turn it down to 25 for this one. Okay, so I reckon two definite diggers for the E-Track there on, well, reasonably high discrimination, really. I think a lot of pro E-Track users will use a bit less, and I would normally use a bit less.